you've had, uh, I think, the privilege to look at basketball from different points of view. As a player, uh, as a managing director, also as an investor, you are co-owner of the Atlanta Hawks, but you also have some investments in the Africa League. Mm -hmm. I mean, given, given how basketball is moving, what does it take to be a high-value player today? I mean, we're trying to get some Filipinos to be able to make it to the NBA, but still, we always fall short of that. So what would you say would we have to build on to be of high value? Well, first of all, also another perspective. I'm in your line of work. I do, too. I do, <laughs> yes. I do broadcasting yes. as Broadcast. well. So <laughs> yes, I'm uh, on the media side. But yeah, I mean, I, I do have a unique perspective. And I see the game and I work in the game from all these different angles, which, you know, how lucky am I that I have an opportunity to do that? Um, you know, I, I think what's happened is that, you know, if 30 years ago the, the, the game of basketball and the NBA was, was just primarily in the States, now it's opened up. And now you've opened the game up to players from, from all over the world. And, uh, and you do have Jordan Clarkson. I mean, he has Filipino mm -hmm. uh, roots, and he's a great player in the NBA and, uh, is, you know, is certainly proud to represent uh, the Philippines uh, in international But there are also emerging teams like South Sudan, Japan, making it to the Olympics. Exactly. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's fun to see these, these countries uh, develop and become basketball powerhouses. It's not fun when we have to play against them, but it's fun uh, to see. And it just shows that the game is just continuing to grow. There's, I think there's more upside for basketball. And I think having this World Cup in a, in a country like the Philippines that is this passionate, I think we'll see the benefits of that 5, 10, 15 years down the road. Uh, I, I think it just will continue to grow and blossom. And, you know, look, 30% of the players in the NBA were born outside of the mm. United States. Mm -hmm. And that's up from 25% just five years ago. So it's trending to become. It's trending in the direction of becoming and being a global game, and uh, we've come a long way in a short period of time, and we still have a long way to go. But I think we'll get there. Well, that means more eyeballs for Filipino players. There you go. Hopefully, yes. <laughs>